What's up everyone? Today I wanted to cover something that's very popular on my channel, the American Express Black Card, and how I came to acquire this card. This video is about my journey to getting the hardest credit card, one of the most expensive credit cards in the world, which has a $10,000 membership fee and a $5,000 annual fee. Before I get into this video and describe my journey, how I got here to the Amex Black Card, go ahead, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get into this video. Okay guys, so here are the credit cards that I had to have before getting the Amex Black Card, okay? There are a lot of cards in here and I'll go one by one of every card. So originally I was in high school. I started deciding or I decided around that uh, senior year, maybe early college, to build up my credit. I realized how important credit is in America to get anything that you want possibly done because America works on credit. They loan you pretty much everything from leasing your cars, houses, etc. It's done on credit. And if you haven't checked out my credit repair video, go ahead, take a look. I do describe some ways uh, to improve your credit if you have bad credit. Without good credit, you cannot get this credit card at all, okay? You can't even possibly get the gold card and you may not get the platinum card as well. So today I'm gonna go ahead and describe how I got the Amex Black Card, what you could do to get your way on the Amex Black Card, on the way to getting an Amex Black Card, I should say, and the path that led me this far. Now, I do wanna say all these credit cards are canceled. None of them are, none of them are active and they don't work. So if you try to buy yourself a vacation good luck it's not gonna happen so when I first started I had the blue cards from American Express there's a blue cash card there's a blue everyday card and uh, I believe there is just a blue card so uh, that pretty much is the first set of Amex credit cards that I got approved for they do require a little bit of a lower credit score to get a credit card so I was able to get in with that entry level credit score of around 680 plus and before these credit cards I was charging my charges on prepaid credit cards where I would deposit money into that credit card use it responsibly that built my credit history up using my social security number and then I was able to acquire these blue cards now with these blue cards I did use every single one of them so every month I would charge let's say on gas on this card pay it off then on that card then on the third and the fourth and so forth so I would have a running balance on each and every credit card to show them that I could maintain four credit cards and still have a quality payment history the blue cards are no annual fee credit cards so I still have them today these are expired cards but I still have them today because it continues to raise my credit history and being a member since 2005 I get that 15 years of credit history on each one of these cards that still counts so I recommend you open as many credit cards as you can just to carry the credit history over in terms of the credit cards here I would keep a running balance to make sure it shows them that I'm able to have multiple credit cards raising my credit card limit and I'm able to pay them all off at the same time or consistently so that allowed me to then apply with a raised credit score to an American Express gold card now this gold card is the newer version it's a little it's plastic with a little metal feel to it I actually had the original gold card which was complete plastic it was the same material as this bendable uh, blue card now the gold card was a great card it had really good points it had a small annual fee and it allowed me to build my credit even further it raised my credit limit uh, pretty much I was able to charge more than the allowed credit card limits of these cards which were like 5,000 2,000 and so forth in the beginning the gold card is a great card it however does not allow you to get into lounges or really get into the Amex perks until you get to the platinum level which I find to be one of the best credit cards on the market so I had this card for several years guys prior to having the blue cards if you're gonna ask me how long have I had these these I've had for about five years before moving up to the gold card so I had to show American Express that not only was I a loyal customer for so many years, but I was able to show excellent payment history for about five years on the blue cards with no annual fee. 
And then I finally upgraded to the gold card, which once my credit history improved, I was charging quite a lot of money on this gold card. And with other promotions that came up, I was able to justify the annual fee of the platinum card, which I was able to go ahead and upgrade to given the fact that I started traveling a lot. I was traveling so much for during that time. I was traveling to China a lot for one of my businesses. In fact, I believe one year I went to China over six times just to go to, um, to get these lounge accesses and the upgrades. Uh, Amex Platinum was getting me in that level of upgrade status. So I was able to use a bunch of lounges while I'm traveling internationally and domestically, as well as getting upgrades on my travel. And I've been upgraded quite a few times purchasing an economy ticket and then getting business class tickets upgraded that way. And that was a pleasant experience. I've sat in the middle seat heading uh, 18 hours to China or whatever it is, and it was not a pleasant experience. So when this card came in, uh, it was a blessing because I was able to get upgraded. The perks of this credit card, if you're interested, go ahead, check out my platinum video. If you haven't done so already, I go over the perks of having the platinum card. And in fact, Based on value, I believe this card to be better than the American Express Centurion card. And I'm going to do that video in the future, really comparing the two and then describing why I think the Platinum would be better for an everyday user. So after having this card, I literally had it for about five years. I canceled my gold card, which I no longer needed. Now, I still have all these credit cards, but we're talking from a personal credit card standpoint. I still have a gold card, I believe, with one of my businesses. I have a platinum with another one of my businesses and then I have the Centurion for personal but before I'm talking about all the gold cards that I had for my personal and so forth so I did cancel the platinum card after five years of use and building credit and finally getting to that level of Centurion I had to spend over two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a given year on a credit card and then I had to show excellent payment history so I believe I spent that year about $400,000 on my credit card and I finally got the invitation to the Centurion card. Now, when I got invited to, to the Centurion card, it was a big day for me, it was a big goal. Uh, I actually was looking forward to getting the Centurion card. This is not what the Centurion card actually looked like back then. So if you wanna check out my update video, you can do so where I compare the credit cards. Uh, it's on my channel and in the link below. This credit card was a goal of mine. I've seen a lot of high net worth people have it. I set it as a goal to have a card. I guess I wanted the attention. I wanted to have this credit card. I don't know, there's a big infatuation with credit cards and to me this is the holy grail. And I finally was able to get invited and I accepted the invitation. I then canceled the platinum because the membership fee when I first got the Amex Centurion or Black card, this was around $600 or 550 back then and this one was $2,500 back then with a $5,000 one-time membership fee which was a lot of money $5,000 even today is a lot of money it's one vacation now they raised it to $10,000 one-time membership fee and a $5,000 annual fee just to maintain this credit card so while well, having the platinum card I was charging a lot of money I got up to $400,000 they invited me I accepted the Centurion card and with the Centurion card I've had it ever since I didn't need the, the platinum card to use it but it actually has a lot of the same benefits except for the Centurion team and a few other perks that allow you to make back that big hefty $5,000 annual membership fee. If you're interested in what goes into this card, you could check out my videos here and here on the Centurion credit cards. You could see what uh, it comes with, what are some of the perks and benefits of the Centurion card. That's a full review. In this video, we're just discussing how to get this card. And to sum it up, uh, you basically need to start with Amex possibly at the very lowest tier level. If you are of young age, you need to go in and get their everyday cards or their blue cards with no annual fees. In fact, it's a smart idea to build credit history with Amex by having these cr credit cards anyway, even if you don't spend them or you just spend a little bit on the credit card per month just to make sure you could pay it off. Now, I always talk about don't overspend on your credit cards. Don't charge more than you make or more than you spend. So check out my top 10 rules 
Rules of Money video. It discusses spending and earning and so forth. Don't ever put too much money on your credit card where you can't pay it off. That's gonna ruin your credit history. You'll never get to this level ever. So once you get the blue cards, Great. Now, if you already have an established credit history, you could start actually by applying for either one of these two credit cards. If you need the five times points, which Amex recently rolled out on travel, I think this is amazing. And if you travel a lot, this is a great card with all the lounge access, the benefits and the upgrades and everything that comes with the Platinum. And again, you could check out that video on Platinum to see what it comes with. But this card is a great card to start with. So expect either to start with the gold card, the platinum card, and use it for years, guys. You're not gonna get this card, and one year later, you're gonna say, hey, I'm an Amex Centurion member. That's very rare. I've never heard of anyone having it like that, and including on the forums, I haven't. So if you do get a Amex platinum card, make sure that you're using it. Expect to be a member for five, maybe even upwards of 10 years before you are approved to be a Centurion member or you are uh, invited and it's an invite only card. So I hope you liked my explanation of how to get to the Amex black card. It, it, the road is very narrow if you don't meet the spending criteria, but if you're someone that does spend a lot of money on your credit card, you still have to show your credit spending history with Amex and then as a loyal member and a member of a long-term relationship, they go ahead and finally invite you to that tier, to that 1% club of high spenders and high net worth individuals and the premium holy grail status of having an Amex black card, which I know a lot of people would love to have. Just judging off the YouTube videos on the publicity of this card, the attention this card gets on YouTube alone and people reviewing it without even having it. So that's how I got to the Amex black card. I hope you guys learned a little bit something and I hope you guys get the card. I did put a link below if you want to request to be a member of this credit card and I don't know if they'll respond to you, but you never know. A closed mouth never gets fed. So you might as well as ask and see where you get. Anyway, guys, I hope you love this video. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys here in the next video.